Right guys, welcome to Saturday the 5th of September um, I'm back with this pile of junk and you'll probably see that that wheel just there is out of sync the, the weld I had on the um, steering arm until the casting's broke and she's digging a good hole that's probably about an inch and a half in now uh, I'm having problems on that side so if you watch between those two there, it's not picking up very well that side doesn't seem too bad we are doing about 8k's which isn't very fast but we're not getting any fish tailing which is a surprise um, yeah we'll see how we go uh, no, what you want to see yeah so doing about 8k's which isn't very fast but I'm not too worried I'm still doing twice what the hay bob would have done so yeah oh poo is the word but we're doing about two swaths of the mower in one and a little bit extra I have been pulling out some tufts of grass, which again is not what you want. Well, this is first turning, so I'm not too fussed. And so, if you can see on that right hand side, on my right hand side, and I won't come out, but it's actually not doing very well. For some reason, it seems that those wheels on the left don't want to sit on the ground. The second one in from the outside, the wheel seems to be floating a little bit. Not entirely sure why. It just isn't on the ground. And I can't see no rhyme or reason for it floating. Because the wheel that's just there seems to be on the ground. So why the one next to it isn't, I have no idea. So it looks it looks like it's back to the drawing boards yet again with it. The, there's also seems to be a difference. Well, there is a bit of a difference on the height of the, the actual wheels as well. I don't know if that's due to the axles being bent back. Uh, you can just see it now. On that far left hand side one, which is actually ripping some of the sods out again. This really is a pile of shite. Right, let's go have a look on the outside. So I can't keep on with this. I'm making more of a mess than what I want. If you look here, that's from going around Edland. So that's basically a chunk of grass with its roots on it. So yeah, I don't know. I just can't work it out. That one's got the same problem as that one, possibly. I've not actually put a bar on it. And what I mean is, with the rest of these, I've welded up the steering bar onto the main main frame of it. Um, that bar would run across the front here to the uh, sections under there and link all these these uh, hubs up so the wheels could adjust. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's just above the ground. That's just above the ground. That one's in the ground, but that's got the duff wheel on it. There, it's gone by now, there. You can see that, New Holland. Um, yeah, and this, that one was floating seems to be floating which I don't understand oh, she's on the ground now very odd it's almost like there's not enough weight to it now she's sat straight so I was missing this gap down here 
And I know it might have been from the wheels of the tractor pushing it down. It's just not a very thick crop. Yeah, that one didn't do it. So, this is the pass I've just been down here. And, it's doing the same again. You can see them dotted all over the place. Uh, it's a pain. We got even more of them. Um, if you don't know, that's what's going to screw your hay up because that soil will keep the moisture in more than anything else in the roots and basically start ruining your grass. Another one. Um, on the whole, though, we're not doing too bad. It's definitely changed colour overnight. In fact, yesterday afternoon it changed colour. And you can kind of hear a, a bit of a rustling out of it already. It's just missed big lumps. So, yeah, I've just got half a field to do now. It literally takes like an hour and a bit with that big tether when it's working. So, it's got this to go really. So yeah, it's not a, not a bad start for the grass. It's a crap start for that bloody tether again. Uh, right, looks like I'm gonna go dig out the hay bob yet again and sling that bloody thing in hedge back somewhere. It's difference between probably just that makes a difference between getting a crop in and not, especially this summer. A big clump. If that had been working. I wouldn't have lost my eight acres or so of grass. Well, seven acres of grass. But because she doesn't, because she's a pile of crap, I lost it. So, that's it. Right, guys, I shall leave my bitch in the morning here and I'll go get a hay bob. Yay! See you later.